still smells like hot garbage like what the heck hopefully i look trendy and not like a 12 year old no turning back no turning back i instantly have to pee as soon as i get here they have it 50 percent off the snail mucin the kusarak snail mucin is 12 dollars 49 today I am looking crazy. Um, I just got back from a walk, but I just made an appointment to get my roots touched up. I'm just going to do like the front pieces really, maybe a couple blending. I don't know what he'll do um, and go shorter. I think I'm going to go significantly shorter tomorrow. Um, I just called them and was like, this is who I normally go to, but like, can I just like get in really quick? And she was like, yeah, it's fine. 1045 tomorrow. So we're going shorter. I'm kind of scared, but kind of excited. I've been really wanting to do it. Um, and I still have my appointment for August and that's another like month away. So I'm like, more than a month, month and two weeks almost. So I feel like I still will want like a full highlight then, but this drives me nuts when I wanna wear my hair like parted and it's just like dark. So just a couple like facing, maybe even just the front pieces and then trim up my hair. So yeah, I've scheduled that for tomorrow. I'm finally, Finally freaking getting up a vlog. I don't even know how long it's been since I've had a vlog up, like a regular vlog. This one's an hour, so hopefully that makes up for it. I feel like, I just feel like I've been kind of all over the place with my vlogging schedule. And I feel like once I get out of um, the routine, then I'm just like, it's so hard for me to get back in and I have no idea why just kind of is so I don't know I kind of feel like in general I've been kind of all over with my my filming in general and I would like to be a little bit back to my schedule back with my consistency because I just feel like I've kind of fallen off in most aspects with that so we're gonna try to get back on it so um my hip was feeling a bit better this morning oh I do you schedule Botox too um my hip was feeling a bit better this morning, so I did go to Pilates, and then, um, what else? I just went for a walk, and, um, this weekend, we had a good weekend. We, um, on Saturday did the, um, had people over for Steve's birthday and Father's Day, so we grilled out my fajitas, which was very good, um, and Scott bought cornhole boards, so we were playing cornhole outside, which was cool. And um, one of our neighbors came over and he has like a nine-year-old son. So we were all out there for a while playing. And then on Sunday for Father's Day, we went to Taste of Randolph in the city, which was fun. I mean, it's not that, it would be more fun with like friends and not Arlo. <laughs> I love him. It's just not super kid friendly. It was pretty hot. He was exhausted. He like fell asleep on me on the way, like while we were walking around, which he like rarely does. Um, but of course, if we were at home, mm -mm, he wouldn't sleep. So you just never know. Sometimes I'm like, oh, we'll just skip nap. And those are the days that he needs the nap. So anyway, um, and then we came home and watched the rest of the US Open, of course. So that was kind of a little re weekend recap. And um, yeah, I've just been kind of doing some behind the scenes, washing our sheets, because I feel like it's been a while since we've done a reset and found two ticks this weekend. Again, um, one that like had, I don't know what the heck, Winnie's on flea medicine, like I put her the stuff on her, had a fully attached tick on her that got so big and I didn't even notice and it fell off. And I was like, oh my God. And then found one literally right on the side of our bed. Like, thought it was a crumb. Went to pick it up and was like, oh, just like so mm, gross. I know they're coming in on her, but it's like, there's nothing I can do besides give her her flea medicine. But I think I might also put a flea or tick medicine flea whatever they're all the same and put a tick collar on her as well and see if maybe that will help because they are just rampant and really the crazy thing is it's like i know we were outside a ton on saturday she was outside with us the whole time 
so I know that's probably when it happened um but besides that like it's not like she goes she doesn't even go in the back like I don't let her so it's like right in our backyard that she's she's catching it and um yeah it's just hecka frustrating because it's just like I don't know it's not like I let her outside to just like roam into the woods like I don't anyway I don't remember them being that bad when I was a kid so but yeah anyway let's show you guys oh, we have something else to show you bye good morning I'm starting my morning cleaning up diarrhea oh this range has got an upset tummy so let's clean that up and I will Y'all, I was just nervous there for a second. Okay, um, I got my car. Not, oh, my abs. Sorry this morning. I got my car because I've been parking outside um, since Saturday because I pulled out of the garage and left to go pick up Arlo or drop Arlo off at the daycare thing or the gym thing and Scott took my spot. Whoa, hello. And so, I need to figure out how to... <sighs> a mess. I completely forgot about that, too. Um, anyway, and I've been parking outside, and I never park outside, and I, like, got in my car this morning, and I was like, what is that smell? It literally smelled like rotten milk in my car. And I looked all around, and I was like, there's no rotten milk in my car. But I think it's just my car seat. Well, not my car. Arlo's car seat that needs to be cleaned, because it's just probably got, like, spilt milk not like and like not like I can see it, you know what I mean? But like probably happened a while ago, and it's probably just because it sat outside in the heat all day yesterday. Probably smells, or that's probably what it's what it's about. Hold on, I'm gonna let this man do his thing because I don't know what he's doing. Oh, can I go? Okay. Um. Anyway, and so I was like, what is that smell? So I think I really need to like to take my car seat all apart and redo it. <laughs> but um, anyway, I also remember yesterday when I was like running late. You know when you like forget to put gas in your car and you're like, oh, I'll just do it in the morning. Like I'll leave myself time in the morning. I've done so many times when I like was on late for work. It's the worst feeling because you're like, great. Um, that happened yesterday. I had zero miles, literally zero. Like it went from five to zero since I got in the car. And um, I had to drop Arlo off get gas and I was gonna be late for my class and I was late for my class but we still made it that's all that matters mm -hmm. energy drink so I'm gonna run to Target really quick because I'm out of allergy medicine and I was thinking I'm not out but like I'm gonna be out soon and I was thinking that I might try I was trying the generic for Allegra which is what Scott uses Allegra but I was trying or thinking I might want to try Claritin for the next month and see how I feel with that. Just kind of see how my body reacts to the different forms of allergy medicine. Um, I'm new to allergies, so total newbie. I've never ever taken allergy medicine regularly in my life. I don't think I've ever taken an allergy pill like randomly in my life. But um, I have been suffering from allergies and like when I go for a walk, I still notice that my eyes water. So I'm wondering if maybe Claritin will be better for me. So we'll see. So we're gonna run to do that. <clears throat> run to the gym, do my Pilates class. And then I have um, a hair appointment at 1045 to get my hair cut. We're cutting at least two inches off. I know that um, and then maybe just like brighten my little face frames a little bit I honestly could probably do a full a full highlight and then just schedule my appointment push my appointment back with her in August not like cancel it but just like push back because I probably would need it I'm pretty much at the point where I'm needing it every like I think 12 weeks is like me pushing it all right workout done a Pilates class I got a shake after class my car still smells like hot garbage like what the heck I feel like I need to figure out what is the smell it's not a vibe like I don't I don't know and then I freaking took a big old chunk of, like I split my nail like 
by hitting this like door opener thing at our gym and I'm so annoyed by it, but whatever. I um, am driving to my hair appointment. It's in five minutes. I'll be there in three, well, it's in eight minutes. I'll be there in three, but I'm always, I'm always kind of nervous when I <clears throat> have to go to a new person because I'm kind of like, should I just get a partial and then get a full when I like see her next? But first, I don't even know if he has time for a partial. Second of all, I know I like her, so I'm just kind of like, <sighs> but then I'm like, highlights are basic. Everybody who's gone through hair school, it's like very basic, you know what I mean? So I feel like how bad can you mess it up? But like, I can't get over why my car smells like hot garbage. It's like I like left a gallon of milk, like I lost it in my car somewhere and it's smelling so bad, dude. What the frick? So anyway, um, I'm chilly. And then I emailed my Botox man to hopefully get in there and get this, you know? And that, whenever he does this, or whenever they do this, I feel like it helps the forehead wrinkles calm down as well. So I don't feel like I need to get forehead Botox. I never do. So, anyway. Let's go get this hair. I think I'm gonna chop off like a solid two to three inches. Like I'm going short. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm also really excited. I texted Ilani and I was like, hopefully I look trendy and not like a 12 year old, but it's gonna be too late soon. It's just hair, it grows. That's what my mom used to always say, but I don't know. I used to find a lot of identity in my hair, if you relate to that. Like I used to feel like I was only like feminine if I had long hair and now I'm just kinda like, whatever, do you? And short hair is really like, I feel like trendy right now. Um, but I've really enjoyed my short hair over the past like year. So it's just going a little bit shorter and if I don't like this short of length, I'm gonna get back to the length that I do like, which is like right now. But I feel like it's just kind of the, in that in-between where it's like, it's not short, it's not long, like it's just kind of medium. No turning back, no turning back. I instantly have to pee as soon as I get here. It's still smelling like hot garbage up in here, but what do we think? I kind of love it. By kind, I mean I do love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute, so fresh. We did a partial, a full partial, not a full partial, but like a partial and not just like a touch up because I really, I really didn't need it. So, yay! I'm pumped. Now let's run over to Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. Oh my god, I have a hair in my face. I think it turned out so cute and I'm in love. I'm in love. He was really good and I really liked his haircut. We went we went short. We cut off about four inches. I really want to try out this ramen place. Benka and Benki. Um yes. I am so here for it. I feel like it's kind of spunky. It's kind of fun. It's kind of I don't know. Ah! I feel like I'm not gonna be able to put it in a ponytail though. I need some freaking AC in this place. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can still get in a pony. I even wanna go shorter next time I think. But he was talking like, I have to either commit to like short so it doesn't do that flip out thing at your shoulders, you know what I mean? Um, you either have to like commit to being it, sh to being it, to making it short, short, or having the flip. I freaking love it. Send a picture to Scott. Not that he's even gonna notice and or realize because he's a boy. It turned out so freaking cute. Okay, let's go to some grocery stores, get some stuff. Um, and then at home, I have not had coffee today, but I had a smoothie out, so I'm like, girl, you don't need a coffee out as well. But I kind of feel like I do. Alright, show you what I got from the Trader Joe's. It's a quick little haul. Some spring mix. I think I'm gonna make um, that Hudson House salad. I'm sure I've made it a million times for you guys, but I'm gonna make that tonight. We have cilantro in the fridge to make the green goddess dressing, so I grabbed parsley and we have a bunch of other herbs. Some spinach. I'm gonna start making eggs scrambles for breakfast. Some 
extra sharp cheddar cheese for that salad, chives for the salad, Some portobello mushrooms, just four things for breakfast. Holy English muffins. We need breadcrumbs just to have plus for the recipe tonight. So we got panko and regular. Bananas. They were out of the onion salt from Trader Joe's and they were also out of um, Heart of Pumps. But I tried this everyday seasoning. I've never tried it before. It's like a grinder. Got bacon for tonight for the salad. Chopsticks and two potatoes. Then, that was my little bag. Got some chicken thighs and chicken breast. Um, some bell peppers, some blueberries. Oy. Milk, cottage cheese. Yogurt, broccolini. Yellow summer squash. I got some veggie fried rice and some broccoli frozen. More chicken to do my little chicken fry things in the air fryer. They were so good. Yesterday I tried them with tuna and it was 10 out of 10. Do not recommend. Um, we're out of maple syrup. Some cheddar or some mozzarella cheese. Tomatoes for tonight. Bikini. Cheese sticks because we are out. My hair is driving me nuts. Yogurts for Arlo. Some avocados for tonight and some parm cheese for tonight as well. So that's everything I got. I'm gonna put it away. It's already freaking 2.30. I gotta do some computer work ASAP. All right, I feel like you get a glimpse of my hair every time I turn on this camera and it's weirding me out a little. <laughs> but I have marinated my chicken. I do milk. Pickle juice, hot sauce. Swish it around, let it marinate. I'm just gonna make sure that the pieces are stay super tender and juicy. And then I've got my bacon. Chop, chopped it up and I do a low, slow cook on that. And then I remembered that our oven actually has an air fry function. So I'm gonna try the nuggets in the air fryer or in the oven tonight so I can make a whole lot more which will be a lot faster because normally I have to do like four different rounds of nuggets in our air fryer because it's so small. So yeah, I'm not gonna make the dressing right now, mostly just because I'm lazy. Me realizing I never filmed a uh, clip of my dinner last night. I'll throw a picture up because I did film or send a picture to my cousin. Um, but yeah, I've made the salad a million times. It's really freaking good. I will leave the green goddess dressing recipe that I used down below. It's amazing. Just be oh, forewarned that it has a clove of raw garlic, which is kind of intense. Like I always feel it in my mouth for like a while. Um, and it's funny because I feel like I don't notice that that much when I eat hummus, but, and I use raw garlic in that, but um, yeah, it was really good. And then last night while I was cooking dinner, Arlo tried to open my box with his little fake knives, which is better than his real knives, but, or real knives, but, um, I think this is my Kiehl's order. Yes, it is. So Kiehl's was doing this, like, 50% off. They do crazy sales. Like, I'm telling you, if you don't sign up for their emails, you're missing out if you get stuff from them. Because they had their cleanser, the giant cleanser, which I've had in the past, um, 50% off. So I was like, I'm not quite out of mine. I probably have like this much left. I probably have enough for like another month or two. But this is my f literal favorite cleanser. I just realized this probably isn't gonna fit in my drawer. Favorite cleanser of all time. Like truly my skin like is just so much better when I use that cleanser. And I'm not somebody who's like, oh, it matters what cleanser you use, but it matters what cleanser you use if you're me, apparently. But um, yeah, I paid for everything. Like this calendula cleanser was is originally sixty dollars. I paid thirty dollars, which is the size of the normal. It's huge. And then they had the ultra repair facial cream. I think this was like twenty five percent off, and I wanted free shipping, of course. So I was like, I'll just take advantage of this. I like this cream a lot. It's good. It's just really small for what it is. Um, I don't need a day cream right now because I have the Sunday Riley one, but I figured I would just get it and put it in my 
Oh, stop. Oh my goodness. So, anyway, I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I'm gonna like start picking up like sort of like daily vlogging again. Like not daily vlogging, but just posting and editing more regularly so I get back into the routine because I feel like when I fall off, I fall off hard. So let's get back into that. I, um, I'm i liking my hair. I do think I want it a little more ashy, but that's fine. I can do purple shampoo by myself. Um, but it's really, oh, I'm loving it. I love the length. This is like the first time I feel like I've cut my hair. No, I'm lying. Um, I've liked it in my adulthood. When I used to cut my hair, the, the short when I was younger, I hated it. But now I feel like I'm just much more like, I don't know loving it so um i can't even imagine myself with long hair again just doesn't seem like it would suit me Niani said the same thing the other day and i was like you know what i agree with that so i'm gonna have a busy editing filming day so i figured that's why i would wrap up this vlog and get it up because i don't think i have anything else to um or i have things filmed today but i'm going to be doing it for my other channel so i'm back you guys i promise i'm not gonna leave you for like a week at a time because believe me, that drives me nuts. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, I know I was going to end this vlog, but five seconds. Five seconds to tell you something important. More than five seconds, because we know me, I'm a talker. But if you made it to the end of this vlog, Amazon, I'm doing this because I'm uploading it today. I just checked because I'm like, not out of my snail mucin, but I'm like coming close to being out of my snail mucin. They have it 50% off. The Snail Mucin, the Kusarak Snail Mucin is $12.49 today. I don't know how long it's going. And then also their um, Moisturizing Snail Cream, which I've been wanting to try. I just unboxed a cream. Listen, it's face moisturizer. We go through it, right? And I would use that for daytime and I'd use this for nighttime, I think. I don't know, actually, but we'll see. It's normally like $25 and it's on sale for $18. So I'm getting both of those. So if you are a snail mucin girl or you need a restock or you've never tried it, now would be a good time to try it because it's on sale. It's on sale. What a good deal. What a freaking deal. I love myself a deal. Okay, bye. <laughs>